A former Juul executive is sounding the alarm in a new lawsuit against the vaping giant, alleging at least one million contaminated vaping pods were sold to customers and retailers. Anna Werner has more details on the lawsuit. Former Juul senior vice president Siddharth Brasia claims he was fired in March for raising concerns about at least a million contaminated pods the company allegedly shipped to customers and retailers. The lawsuit cites several instances where Brasia expressed concerns about the quality of the products being sold. The lawsuit claims then-CEO Kevin Burns responded to those concerns, saying, half our customers are drunk and vaping like expletives. Who the expletive is going to notice the quality of our pods? Burns, who stepped down from Juul last month, told Tony DiCopo in August the company's products are safe. People say Juul is toxic. Is it? The product or the company? Interesting that you would, you would ask. Uh, the product. We toxicology test all of our products. But last month, the FDA warned Juul about misleading claims that vaping is less harmful than smoking. We think we have a product that is legal today, is tested for toxicity, and does not present a risk based on the guidelines of the category today to the American public. But fair to say, if you, if you knew this to be a, a toxic or dangerous substance, you wouldn't be selling it? I can't imagine we had the data to support that we're selling a product that is damaging to the American public, and we had that data that we'd continue to sell that product. It's worth noting there is no evidence that links the claims in the lawsuit to the more than 1,600 vaping-related illnesses and 34 deaths reported nationwide. Most of those instances involve vaping with THC, the psychoactive ingredient in marijuana, or both THC and nicotine. That was Anna Werner reporting. In a statement, Jewel said in part, quote, Mr. Breja's claims are baseless. He was terminated in March 2019 because he failed to demonstrate the leadership qualities needed in his role. The allegations concerning safety issues with Juul products are equally meritless. The company says it will defend the lawsuit vigorously. Former CEO Kevin Burns responded to the lawsuit. In a statement to CBS News, he said in part, quote, as CEO, I had the company make huge investments in product quality, and the facts will show this claim is absolutely false and pure fiction.